Howdy, 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 my name is Anasha Sasuke, welcome back to Let's Read Ava's Demon. In the last episode, Ava found out what she's supposed to be doing for her quest. Odin got his ring stolen by some people that I've been assuming are his sisters, but I, I'm not actually sure who the hell they are. And, uh, she got wasted and is now dreaming about something, but she has one of the warriors, it looks like. And they're all off to go to the Titan Hospital Training World thing? In any case, let's see what's going on in her head, other than her seeming to be a terrible person. Maybe she's not a terrible person, but as of right now, she seems like a terrible person in a few different kinds of ways. She's very nicely drawn, though. Tulls! Eh. That, that is a sad-looking tree. Tulls, we have work to do! Maggie's back! Hi, Maggie! Maggie, you're here! Hooray! Maggie, did I ever tell you about your eyes shine like jewels? Because, wow, they sure are shiny. Where's Tools, you little weeds? He's very sad, Maggie, very sad. He's hiding from you again. Tools is afraid of you, Maggie. Tools is afraid you'll yell at him again? Okay, so yeah, she, she's, she's terrible. She is, a, she is a terrible person. Okay. Ugh, so gross. Maybe you shouldn't just crush creatures. If you don't want it to be gross. Ow, Maggie! Ow, ow! Tulls, I found someone new! Tulls? Found you. Okay, so... If, if at some point in the comics something happens to make her a likable character, I've not seen it yet. So, if she becomes redeemed... Awesome, but right now she's just getting more and more terrible. Also, that doorway looks kind of like a couch. Tulls! These look like important paintings of someone, and... I did... <sighs> she should think a guy made out of plants would know how to garden. She should think a lady with a guy made out of plants would be less terrible. It's called pruning, Tulls! He looks kind of like Odin. Also, is he drawing? Oh, he's painting! With a stick, that's impressive. Sweet, kind, ranunculi. I don't know if I said that right. Ranunculi? That sounds seems like it. Why would you even plant this trash? Ah! Oh. Hi, Magnolia. I didn't hear you come in. How are you? Enthralled by your gardening work? How are you? Still painting creepy pictures of your princess? Well, okay, yeah, that's great. Anyway, I have good news. I found a new boyfriend. Do you want to know his name? Not really, no. His name is Gil, and he's charming and handsome. Plus, he's super nice to me. We just had tea together, so it was like practically a date. I'm pretty sure that it was just alcohol by yourself. Are you about to kill more flowers? Yep. Yep. Okay, he's not the sanest guy around. I think he's kind of a fanatic or something. He's crazy about that Titan guy. You know who Titan is, right? No. Well, it doesn't matter. I think I've really snagged this guy, Tolls. This time it's for real. So, Tolls, darling, I need you to work your magic again. Pretty please? This is your sixth one. Yes, so? What are you trying to say? I'm getting weaker with every passing day. If I do this for you, it might be the last time before I run out of magic completely. You know that, don't you? After this, you might need to complete the full pack yourself. I've done all I can. Well, th this one... This one is for sure, trust me. And after it is for sure... Yeah, yeah, we'll complete your half of the path and go visit your creepy princess. Ranunculi, beautiful Ranunculi. Great, here we go. My duty as her guard was to keep her alive and safe. So we will make sure she is still safe. And I will confess my feelings to her once and for all. After all these years, I know how this dumb pact will play out. I'll bust my ass getting to her, and when you finally confess your feelings, she'll reject you. I don't care if she does. Can't you just... Change your request to something that isn't so hard to do, like sending her a love letter? That way you won't have to see the disgusted look on her face when she finds out you've been cruising on her, crushing on her like a psycho. How are you any better, Maggie? 
How are you, how are you any better? A pact can't simply change. You know that. Besides, I want to tell her I love her in person, even if she rejects me. That way, I can pass on without regrets, and at least I would have seen her one last time. Sigh! You're pathetic! Now, are we gonna do this thing or not? I suppose you have a cherished item with you? A really good one! Remember how I said he was super into that titan guy? Well, this is his rule book or something like that. Hmm. I see. I suppose this will have to do. Alright, let's get this over with. Hopefully I can scratch up some sort of flower. That's the spirit! Gil's my Prince Charming, you know. Ugh. Sure, whatever you say. Hey, I'm being, I'm being serious, you grumpus. Gil's the nicest person I've ever met. He actually treats me like a human being and not a piece of trash. Well, maybe if you didn't act like a piece of trash, you'd have earned it from more people. He's even letting me travel with him so I can turn my life around. He actually cares about me. At this rate, I think there'll be a lot of room for us to fall in love. After all, he's nothing like the previous crushes I've had. He's much more mature. I hope for the pack's sake you're right. I would very much like to see Ranunculi soon. Relax, we'll get to her eventually. It's only been like, what, three years? Four. Four long years, Magnolia. I'm worried sick about her. I hope she's alright. Obviously she's fine or this pack would have... What do you call it? Failed? Yeah, that's right. It would have failed we'd be stuck together or, or whatever. A failed pact is not something you should take lightly. What? You can't stand the idea of being stuck with me forever. Don't you like me, Tolls? That isn't the issue. Thinking back to that day, I think there's more to it than being stuck with each other, but I... Stop being so dramatic. Just let me do my thing and we'll visit Princess Paddlehead in no time, okay? Listening to you talk can be so tiring. You know that? Did you ever put Ranunculi to sleep with that droll? Well, we were never able to talk much. How surprising. Gil's a great talker, really charismatic. You could probably learn a thing or two from him, Tolls. I wonder if his name is actually Tolls or if it's short for, if that's short for something. I wonder if that's the way you could meet him. We could tell him about Ranunculi, maybe he'll know how to bring us to our planet, hmm? Perhaps. I'm sure Gil could take us there after I win him over, that is. Ooh, what flower is it this time? A rose. A rose? How romantic! I believe this is the second to last flower I have. Once more, I'm going to remind you of the rules behind my magic. Once you have the flower in your possession, hand it to the person you love, then make your confession. The scent of the flower will help that person uncover the desire in their heart to be your significant other. Please, try not to abuse the flower's magic this time. This one is a very delicate seed, and I fear it's too weak to handle multiple uses. It might even wilt after the first use. I won't use it more than once unless it's absolutely necessary, okay? I've got it under control! Well, in that case, are you ready, Magnolia Lissivi? <clears throat> ready as ever, Tolls Tenon Bros. Oops. I don't think this is the color roses usually are, but alright. Oh, a video. I'll shut up.
Okay, uh, it would appear that song was called We Are All Satellites by Clark Powell. Also, she's still terrible. She's, she's still, still so terrible. And he knows it. Also, it looks like there's little, like, little hoof prints on his leaves. Thanks, Tolls! I mean it! Rima Ranunculi. Meanwhile, back to Ava, who is decidedly less terrible than Maggie. Although... Ah! Huh? Oh, right. It's on my head. I guess I fell asleep. Ava, is that you I hear mumbling? Uh, what is she up to now? Why aren't you awake getting my army together? Way ahead of you, you old witch. <sighs> Raffia! <sighs> hey, Raffia! Raffia, I, I found... I, I, I found... <sighs> a warrior. A? As in one. One lone warrior. Wow, don't get too excited or anything. I think this is the guy I found, see? He looks powerful. Tulls Tenenbros. Ten oh, excuse me, Tenenbros. Tulls? The most depressing and unmotivated moron I've ever recruited. I seriously doubt he'll be much help this early on. I mean, he's powerful, don't get me wrong, but only when he's in a good mood. Which is almost never, just so you know. Gee, how could anyone not be in a good mood with you as queen? My sentiments exactly! Try to recruit him if you want, but I assure you it'd be a waste of time. He's a backup plan at best. First you should try to find my husband, or maybe Nevi Nervine. Or any warrior that isn't a sad sack of mulch like Tulls. Tulls looks nice though, and the host happens to be someone important to me. Maybe I could get him to help us at least a little bit. <sighs> oh look, it's flowers that look like they're from Tulls world for some reason. You've even taken up gardening in here? Amazing. Gardening? I don't know what you're talking about. Gardening is for servants. Right, in her head. I was like, did she just jump into the lava? No, wait, it's probably just really, really hot, thick water. Yeah, let's go with that. It is the flowers from Tulls. Why are those here? Oh. Oh! Oh, she's still here. This probably isn't good. This place is too pretty to still be my mind. What in the world? Ava? Maggie? What are you... What are you doing here? I... I... Are you another twisted forest friend, huh? The fairies weren't enough? Out! Get out now! Get out of my own mind! Your mind?! I can't believe this! Wasting his magic on elaborate illusions? His? Y you mean Tolls, right? Cut the crap, but I'm- I'm not an illusion! <coughs> I'm the real Ava, I swear! This might be your mind, but the lava! It's my mind, too! I'm not quite sure why we're both here, but- if you're the real Maggie, and I'm in your mind, th then you made a pact with Tolls, right? A pact you need to complete? I have one too, a demon haunting me, and a pact just like yours. We, we could help each other complete them. Maggie, please, let me help you. I can't believe what I'm hearing. What would you know about helping me? How can anyone be allowed to be so terrible? Sorry about that. Bit of a rough landing, but we made it on time. Rise and shine, everyone. Can't be late. We're on Titan's time, you know. Can someone please kill the lights? My head can't take this mood right now. Th that's the sunlight, you fool. <laughs> yes, well, anyway. Ava, Odin? 
Do you think you two could wait by the guards outside? I'd like a moment to talk to Maggie. Alone, please. <sighs> Come on, let's go. Now then, Maggie. Feeling alright? Kill, I'm sorry, where where are we again? I'm becoming a doctor today, remember? Oh, yeah! <laughs> I must have really passed out. I just wanted to ask if you're still ready to travel with me? No second thoughts, right? Travel? Travel with me and become a follower? Oh, 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 yeah! To yes, totally ready! We'll turn in o Ava and Odin to the refugee center and be on our way, sound good? Yeah, sounds perfect. There is it a mirror on the ship, is there? There's a small utility closet on the way out. Do be quick. Right, I will. Well, now we know that their minds can connect for some reason. And, like, I will, at the beginning of the episode, I didn't want to say it, that Maggie kind of reminds me of Vriska, but Maggie is so much worse than Vriska. Oh my god. Like... At least Vriska thought she was doing the right thing when she was terrible. Maggie's just terrible for the sake of her own selfishness. And nothing else. Stay safe. She just ripped the doorknob off. I wonder if Ava's doorknob can do that. Or I guess Jorknob. Hey, looking good. <laughs> Now's the time to perk up, ladies. You'd think having a door up under your chest would, like, just act as a natural bra or something. I don't know. Titan cares. Ugh, perfect. I didn't think there would be th this many guards. Wait, what? I thought we could make a run for it. Maybe sneak on a c c cargo ship out of here, but now... I almost forgot how spectacular this place is. It's even more marvelous beyond the gates. Come along now, the guards don't bite. Listen, m maybe we can override the autopilot p programming on this ship somehow? We? We'll sneak back on board when Gil's not looking and- Gil, wait up! I found something of yours! Did you drop this on the ship? My book! I was looking everywhere for this, thank you! Looks like it fell in the dirt. <laughs> how, how odd! The guards are like, ugh, people. What's the hold up? You have follower identification? Yes, of, of, of course. Here, my followers card. I'm joining the medical ranks today. Maggie here is registering for follower training, to follower training today. She'll be accompanying me to the enlistment center. Height 6102, weight 161.2 pounds, race unclassified. Follower since 3023, class D medical, plan number that. Signee via 10123, blue complexion, markings something, scars, oh, markings no, scars no, eyes blue, valid. Face captured, image cataloged. And those two? Oh, uh, th those two are misplaced. I'll be turning them over to the refugee center. Face captured, image cataloged. Face captured, image cataloged. I, I have my enlistment forms if you need more proof. Straight to the refugee center, then right at the entrance. No sidetracking. We'll be watching you, Marverde. Right. Thank you. Let's get a move on, you two. Psst. As soon as he t turns away, we can get back on the ship and l lock the door. I think I know how to put in custom coordinates and we can bail. Ready? Set. Okay. Y yeah, or just run into danger instead. Thanks for letting me come along, Gil. Oh, it's no problem. How could I say no? I feel like you could do great things as a follower, Maggie. You really think so? Paradise starts here. Titan for love, for glory, for honor. Titan Inc. Titan for a better tomorrow. Titan the creepy, dilapidated looking statue. So there's Odin and Ava, and Gil and Maggie's terribleness. Bunch of silhouettes of other folk. And a... Uh, Oh, I thought it was about to be another video. Does this comic have chapters? Is that what the videos are? Or are the videos just a thing? Hmm. 
They look happy. The fact that everything here is blue except for their faces is weird. This place looks really, um, expensive. Well, I was going to say intimidating, but yeah, that too. Kind of makes me feel really powerless. Ava, Odin, this way! Refugee Emplacement Center. So, this is the Refugee Center. Uh, this is the Refugee Center. Walk straight through these doors, down to the front desk. They'll give you new clothes and, well, help you with your unfortunate situations. What situations? Go on inside now. We don't ha want the guards uh, arresting me for neglecting to turn you in. <laughs> oh, we don't? Push. Well, I do need some new clothes. I could also use a shower. Plus, I'm starving. You're not starving. Come on, quick, before the guards notice! Would it kill you to act like a normal person for five minutes? Will, will you just... Are you completely insane? Shh, shh, shh. Or was the idea of getting some new clothes too much for your smelly self to handle? N new clothes? You think this is some kind of resort? Th they th think they're gonna feed and feed you and clean you? Don't you know what goes on in there? They gotta have at least a few handouts. I would just want to ask for what I need and run. Followers don't care about what you need. The moment you go in there and ask for help, they're going to cycle you back into the system. They have your records on Titan's intranet, you know. They'll send you to, the, to that planet for troubled children. They put you to work in some factory. Or if you don't cooperate with the soldiers, which, let's face it, you won't cooperate. The labia was a traitor of Titan and forcefully subdue you. How could Gil shove us in there like it was nothing? F followers do Titan's dirty work. They're trained to turn in sad refugees who've been led astray. You saw the doors locked behind us, right? The centers are a way f for them to detain runaways and nuisances. But how is Maggie not detained? She told Gil she's desperate to become a follower. What? I'm sure she has ulterior motives. So now he's taking her to join up with Titan. Ugh. Though I th think she'll get detained just for being annoying. Say, how do you have so much dirt on Titan anyway? There's no way you learned it in school. M my parents taught me that it's important to research those who have power over your surroundings. It must be nice having others in your life who Look out for you and teach you these things, the way parents do and all. Yeah, well, anyway. Ab about my planet, I was thinking we should... Here we go again. N no, listen, it's not too far from here. It it's not a utopia, b but it's unmapped and well hidden. We have real food and shelter and clothes, a place for you to sleep. Biohazard, biohazard, biohazard. Come with me. I don't even know you. If you want to stay and fend for yourself, then fine. I, I, I can't stop you. I'm off to find a way out of here. Pentabarbital. Sodium injection. 130 milligrams. Or MG, ML. For intravenous or intramuscular use. Do not use if discolored or contains a, pr a precipitate. Insul, fluorine, something with an R. Wait! Don't wait! Wait up! I, I'll go with you. Right, then let's go. But first! Uh, f first before we leave, will you help me go after Maggie and convince her to come with us? It might be taking a sh shot in the dark with this one, but I'm pretty sure we're the last people who can c convince her to go anywhere. I can't just let her walk off and get detained, especially with her temper, her strange tree temper. They'll do something terrible to her for sure. <laughs> Who cares? I do! She deserves whatever's coming to her. I mean, l look at how awful she acts. You're right, you know. It's my fault, okay? I mean, it, it's my fault she acts the way she does. She wasn't always this reckless and mean. It's my fault she gets herself into trouble. Can't we at least try to go get her? Fine, let's get this over with. 
thank you. But if she starts attracting too much attention, we're out of here. Same goes for you, got it, Firefly. What's that supposed to mean? It means stop turning into an angry glowing sun or you'll get stopped by the guards. Oh, a sun? I don't like a sun! Your whole face is orange! Can't you see it? I can't see my own face! I'm not doing it on purpose, I swear! Well, get it under control. Uh, also, I don't r really s smell bad, do I? What? Oh, you don't, you don't smell bad at all. I, I was just saying that because I was was upset. I'm, I'm sorry. You smell like smoke and pine trees or something. So you smell kind of good, I suppose. You a actually s smelled me? Ooh, what I meant was, um, your your jacket, which I'm wearing, smells really, uh... I think now's a time, a good time to get going. What? Y yeah, what? What is that? Uh, I'm serious. For some reason, the streets are almost clear. I even the guards are gone. Now I think the enlistment center is loaded? All the way to our right. Was it towards the back of the headquarters? Hmm... I think everyone might be back there for some sort of presentation. Okay, so there's definitely something going on with Odin, but this is probably a good stopping point for this episode, and we'll find out what's going on with Odin in the next one, maybe, unless it just moves on to the next thing. So, this has been Anashi Sasuke. This was episode, I want to say, four of Let's Read Ava's Demon. In the next one, we'll find out what's going on with Aiden, and that'd be cool if we do. If you liked it, a like and a subscribe will be groovy. If you didn't, you don't need to do either one of those things. As usual, there'll be links in the description for the comic, supporting the comic, and also the YouTube page for where all the comics videos are. So, thanks again, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Later.